Hi there! In today's video, I want to share with you my go-to cold remedy. It's DIY, it's all natural, it's only two ingredients, and it's a super antibiotic and a virus wrecker. Especially if you can catch that cold when it's just in the beginning stages in your throat, you take this stuff and it's going to knock that cold right out of the ballpark. So I'll show you how to make it. It's super simple. And if you have any leftover, it even lasts for years. In fact, the older it is, the better. And let me just add this really quick. If you're new to my channel, Clean Food Living, and this is the first time you've clicked in, consider subscribing if you like videos on fermenting vegetables, a little farm and garden, and then also videos on wild edibles. If any of that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, without further ado, let me show you how to make this. Just a quick disclaimer here, this video and remedy is not medical advice and may not be appropriate for children or some adults depending on your unique health situation. So consult your healthcare provider before taking this remedy or giving it to your children. You're going to need a glass jar of any size, some chopped onion, and raw honey. Let me emphasize raw honey, not the cheapo honey whose active antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties have been either fully destroyed or severely compromised by the heating process of the pasteurization that they do to the non-raw stuff. Place the chopped onion into the jar. By the way, once the remedy is cured, you won't taste the onion anymore, only the honey. So don't be afraid of tasting raw onion, you won't. Then pour the honey over the onion. You're gonna use quite a bit of honey here to fully cover the onion, but this concoction never goes bad and will store on the shelf for years and only gain potency with time. So don't worry, you're wasting honey if you don't use all of this in a week, you're not. Give it a light stir to incorporate the onion and the honey. Here are some options you can add to this remedy to supercharge it. You can add some fresh peeled ginger, which is a super cold and flu buster, and or you can add a clove or two of whole garlic or sliced or chopped. You can add one, none, or all of those additions. I've experimented and found for me, simply the onion and the honey are all I need to put a paddle on that cold bug. But since there are no rules, you can play with the ingredient additions. For a fresh batch like this, it needs to sit for a minimum of four hours to become potent. So I'll be back in four hours and show you how to take it. However, while the honey concoction is brewing, let me show you what a friend of mine gave me as a gift. This is a raw honey and black garlic concoction. It's all garlic instead of onion like mine. The black garlic turned the honey black and this here is four years old. Like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't go bad so as long as you never double dip and always use a fresh clean spoon to get into it, it will last in your pantry for a very long time. This four year old batch is so potent that it smells like it could annihilate the black plague. It's really strong. For a less pungent formula but not necessarily less effective, I like my onion and honey mix. Just wanted to show you what's possible. Alrighty, it's been four hours, so what you'll do is just place your spoon in the mixture on the top and allow the honey juice to flow into the spoon and you can filter out any onion pieces. You don't need to eat the onion now at this point. The power is now in the honey juice. And I'm calling it honey juice because you'll notice the concoction thins out after the four hour curing process. If people in your house are currently sick and you're not yet, or you're just feeling the onset of a bug in your throat, an adult dosage would be to take a tablespoon three times a day. If the bug seems to be getting stronger, increase the dosage frequency. Years past when I felt a really aggressive bug coming on, I've taken five or six spoonfuls a day. Adjust to your needs and what feels right to you. Store in the pantry and reach for it the next time a cold bug tries to get you. So as you make this stuff for yourself, and maybe you experiment adding the garlic or the ginger, let me know in the comments below what additions you did and how this worked for you. Share in the comments below so we can all help each other. I'm also going to make another video of my all-natural cold and flu arsenal. This is something I always go to first off, but if it's a real bad bug going through my house, I throw everything except the kitchen sink at it because I hate being sick. And I haven't been sick in years and it's because of my secret weapons. So check in the description below for that full arsenal video. When it comes out, I'll have it available down there. Check out some of my other videos right here and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.